Ever see trees you haven't seen before or ones you can't identify? I've never seen so many trees in my life. Oh, Diane, I almost forgot. Got to find out what kind of trees these are. They're really something. Thankfully, new technology is used to provide answers, so you don't have to be mystified for long. You can walk around and just open up a point and say, oh yeah, that's a pin oak. At the University of Missouri-St. Louis, taking inventory of campus trees is the first step. Years ago, tree inventories were all paper, pencil. If you wanted to find a tree, then you'd have to look through pages and pages, maybe find it, maybe not. Now everything is digitized, it's online. You have a database that you can search for specific trees. Reed Gibson has the tools he needs for a thorough inventory, mapping precise locations with GPS. He's using Davies Tree Keeper Urban Forestry Management Software. What we're doing here is uh, measuring the diameter of the tree. We do a level two assessment, which is a ground survey, a full 360 around the tree. So it's just an aerial view, and each red point represents a tree. Walk up to a tree, place a new point, collect all the information I'm going to collect about it, species, size, um, risk rating, overall condition. Potential hazards, observations like dead or dying branches, pockets of decay. He's captured about 2,400 trees walking the campus for several days in a short few weeks. From pin oaks, crab apples, sweet gums, to many more varieties, the information is made public online through Davies Tree Keeper. So anyone on campus wondering about a particular tree can stop where they are and use their device to find what they want to know. You can easily bring up the Davy Tree Keeper, inviting the community as well as our students to use this information for research. It's an educational tool, and more than that, it helps UMSL's ground supervisor, Gregory Ward, with his mission. The inventory's funding comes from the Missouri Department of Conservation's TRIM grant, helping Ward better support maintenance and health of UMSL's tree population. We have nearly 300 trees uh, up for removal, and those are um, ash trees and pin oaks. And so just knowing how many trees we need to either consider for removal or consider to put on an emerald ash borer treatment plan uh, helps me and my budget um, to determine what the route we should take. And it helps him plan for a sustainable future. Uh, the goal is to have, I want to say, 30% uh, canopy coverage for campus. Um, and our diversity, we're looking to increase the v diversity. He says the trees add beauty and play a role removing particulate matter from the environment. Ward says TreeKeeper works well with iTree. iTree is a software suite from the USDA Forest Service helping Ward assess overall economic benefits of campus trees. There are algorithms with certain tree species, the location, they'll use local utility rates, and this program can actually tell you the dollar amount of utilities that a single tree will save. Danny Moncheski is a community forester for the Missouri Department of Conservation. The gallons of stormwater intercepted per year uh, the pounds of carbon sequestered um, per tree. By shading a building, you're reducing the amount of radiant heat that's hitting the brick or the wood or the concrete or whatever material that building's created with, and uh, then, then basically sheltering that. And it can be as much as 20 degrees cooler underneath a tree than it is out in that sun in the middle of the summer. Based on the trees tallied in the inventory, the eco-benefits for UMSL amount to more than $140,000 a year. They're more than just pretty. They do a lot of good things for us. Benefiting all campus life. Next, Ward would like to use the TreeKeeper software to develop applications for self-guided campus tree tours, such as a mature oak tour and a spring flowering tree tour. For HEC, I'm Kathleen Berger.